In today's era of rapidly advancing technology, autonomous driving has emerged as a promising frontier with the potential to revolutionize transportation. At its core lies the challenge of generating a stabilizing control signal for the vehicle autonomous movement based on its observation of the environment. This project features an agile car-like robot at a 128th scale of a full-sized car, which employs the Ackerman steering mechanism for precise control. Within an open-source CRS software framework, a simulation environment with different kinematic models, such as the bicycle and Pacheca model is provided, with ROS facilitating communication between PC and car. Motion capture technology tracks the car's position and velocity in real time. This setup allows for development of custom algorithms in control and localization in simulation and allows for a seamless transition to the actual car. Reinforcement learning offers a compelling solution to the challenge of determining the right control input for autonomous driving. Unlike traditional control methods that rely on predefined rules or models, reinforcement learning enables the car to learn from its interactions with the environment and adapt its behavior accordingly. To train the agent effectively, simulation environments were leveraged to collect data and refine its driving capabilities. Data collection began by running the car in simulation and recording its actions and corresponding states. These states include information such as the car's position, orientation, and an idea of the track ahead of it. By capturing this data, a rich dataset was built that served as the foundation for training the agent. Both offline and online training approaches were adopted to refine the agent's behavior. In offline training, batch data collected from simulation runs was used to train the agent in a supervised manner. This involved optimizing the agent's policy to mimic the behavior observed in the recorded data, using techniques such as deep queue learning or policy gradient methods. Online training involved deploying the agent in the simulation environment in real time. As the agent explores the environment and receives feedback on its actions, it updates its policy to maximize rewards and improve its performance. One key aspect of the training approach was the randomization of the starting position in each simulation run. By varying the initial conditions, it ensured that the agent encountered a diverse range of driving scenarios. This encouraged it to learn driving strategies that could generalize to new environments. Following successful training in simulation, the trained agent was deployed on the real track for testing. Remarkably, the agent demonstrated the ability to traverse the entire track autonomously showcasing its capability to generalize learned behaviors from simulation to real-world environments. This achievement represents a significant milestone in the development of autonomous driving technology, underscoring the potential of reinforcement learning approaches for real-world applications. We have worked on a project based on Cronus Miniature Car. Overall, the experience was really great. The things which we have learned in theories like reinforcement learning, we were fortunate enough to implement it on the real car. Our group was divided into four different teams and every team was working on different algorithms and different controllers. And at the end, we were collaborating together to find the best optimal solution. The project was very fun to work on. We were able to really learn how to implement reinforcement learning using MATLAB and Python. And using this, how to integrate this in a Docker environment and also use Git with this and how to interface all of this together with ROS. It was really, it was really exciting to learn all of this. Usually when we're doing courses and assignments, it's a lot of specific agents that we only study in theory and then we only use it on a couple of problem scenarios. But here we were able to test a diverse range of agents and algorithms, different action spaces and test out different reward functions. So we were really trying out a lot of different iterations of everything that we did on our agent. And that really helped us in understanding how everything would change, uh, how the model affect, how it affects our model. The project was exciting to motivate us and to keep us going into it. Uh, other than that, Professor Hoffman, uh, a big thanks to him. He was always there wherever we needed. And I think that working on such a project showed me the practical side of the research. 
the way we were set up as a group was very good because we were all experimenting with very different aspects of how to approach with reinforcement learning so we were testing a lot of solution approaches eventually we came up with an optimal approach that was uh, how to get the fastest lap time and how to follow for example a certain reference path with a car and throughout this we were obviously having a lot of doubts so having weekly sessions with professor hoffman where he would brainstorm with us and then we would ideate on how to approach this for example would that was really fun to do and we were able to learn a lot of things along the way